Hi guys, uh, some of you may have seen the uh, earlier video that I made uh, relating to this little uh, heater that I've made for myself, but this is a little low voltage uh, heater uh, that I've made specifically for use with uh, kombu. I've never done the process and this is the very first time I'm actually going to try it. Um, uh, I like to share these things uh, from scratch. Um, I've got my heater on. Um, the temperature there is, I'm not going to move it all around because it'll move the thermocouple, but that's uh, 392, 393. Depends if I breathe on the thermocouple. Uh, that's the power supply. And you'll see I'm running the power supply at about 9 volts, uh, at about uh, 0.9 of a, uh, an amp, so uh, 900 milliamps. Um, uh, and I've, I've shown how I've made this uh, uh, little uh, hot plate. And this is going to be adequate for the sort of thing I think I want to make. If I want to make a bigger one, I'll make a bigger one. But um, I didn't want to be working over an electric stove. Um, I wanted something just big enough to be able to um, work with little bits of silver like this. Um, I just want to coat that. I say I've never done it before. Um, I have uh, heated and uh, pickled this silver six times. And I looked, oh, what's happening there? I zoomed in and I hope that you can see uh, what I do. Um, I'm a bit of a devil for challenging the convention. And, uh, you know, the wisdom says that you should use um, uh, agate or uh, steel um, burnishers. Um, I've got a steel burnisher. Um, I don't want to get that. There's my bit of gold that uh, I want to try and. Oh, I've started touching it. I've gone all twitchy. Okay, and in the absence of a uh, a proper burnisher, I'm going to use a pencil. Um, I say, I love to challenge the conventional wisdom as um, it seems a bit crazy to me to um, use something that's cold, like a piece of steel or a piece of stone, to uh, press down something that you want hot. I'm trying to work left-handed here to work around the camera. Uh, this is gold foil, not gold leaf. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't put my reading glasses on, so I can't see the blessed thing. Um, what I'm trying to do is get this so as I can lift the foil uh, and I can't get to the end, end of it. But anyway, I'm pressing that down um, oh by the way I um, I looked at the surface of the silver uh, at each stage during the pickling process and um, you know everybody tells you that uh, what the silver looks like and that but I've looked at it under a microscope and um, it, it's it's really very fascinating and on the assumption I can uh, um, uh, get my software sorted out so as I can edit uh, my videos um, I'll upload the photographs I can't peel that gold off I can't I can't get to it anyway um, I'm going to whip that off there now I think that's done put it down there turn that up. oh the um, the temperature there uh, 358, 359. Um, 
Oh, and that's on the side of the block. That's on the side of the block. I've just put the thermocouple back. Where's it gone? Yeah, 357, something like that. Okay, this should be cold now. Uh, the pencil, it's a 3B pencil. Um, we get into there. Sorry. It's a, a 3B pencil that I've used. I would say that's stuck on there, guys. Um, put my glasses on there. Uh, switch that off. Switch uh, that off. Um, you see how nice this is, a little heater. It's absolutely tame. Um, right, there's my gold. This is uh, a brand new, out of the box yesterday, brass brush. They say you should do this with water and soap and all the rest of it. But I just wanted to prove a point. Um, that's on there. Um, uh, I've never done this. Sorry. Um, I've seen that. That is on there. Um, I know you shouldn't uh, treat it so harshly and uh, say you should do it with soapy water. But that is fantastic. I've, I've never done that before. Um, uh, but it's easy. Um, okay, well, I'm going to hammer that. Um, but I think I've uh, achieved what I set out to achieve. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I say it quite genuinely. I've never done that before. Um, and, uh, you know, if you saw this, uh, when I made this little heater a couple of days ago, um, uh, I think that's water staining on the back. I dried it. Um. But uh, that's great because I can clean this up. I actually want to use this piece of uh, kombu for a um, project I'm working on. Um, and that's a pencil that I used, 3B. Um, and I rounded the end off, just rubbed it on the uh, newspaper. But it strikes me that... Um, this is a nice soft surface. It won't suck the heat out of the gold foil uh, the way that uh, agate or uh, a steel burnisher would. And I think this <laughs> these costs are not very much. <laughs> so it works. If you, uh, if you get it on the silver, um, it will write on the silver. Obviously, you know that. I say I love to challenge the conventional conventional wisdom. Um, I remember years ago I was building equipment for uh, an extremely well known aircraft manufacturing company, and we were discussing a process that they want to, to carry out. And I, I said, "Why why are you doing it like that? It doesn't sound right to me." And they said, oh, we've always done it like that. And <laughs> sometimes people always do it the same way uh, because it works and it's proven and that. But I say, I do like to challenge things. And um, I, I'm really pleased 
with what's that's what's happened there anyway i hope you found that into oh something else i should say um something else i did do earlier today um you know that um people say you can test the temperature of your hot plate by using a toothpick or something like that uh what i found earlier was i ran the heater up and i increased the temperature and increased it and this uh, rubbed this little stick over it and it didn't start to smoke uh, until uh, about 370 degrees